Hi, I'm Vicki. And I'm Joanne. Welcome to our kitchen. Today we're making holiday morning French toast. And it's filled with apples and cinnamon, raisins and brown sugar. It's going to be amazing. It smells good already. Mm. The nice thing about this yummy recipe is you can make it up to 24 hours in advance and put it in your fridge overnight or you can make it four hours in advance that morning so all the flavors meld nicely together so you have a beautiful, yummy meal coming out of the oven. So let's get started. First, we're going to start by combining the brown sugar, butter, and cinnamon in a 13 by nine, lightly greased baking pan. We're going to add the apples and the raisins. And then we're going to mix well with the mixture. It's almost like a pineapple upside down cake. You almost could turn it out upside down. Next, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna arrange our bread on top of the apple, cinnamon, and raisin mixture. We're gonna evenly place it on top of our casserole. We're gonna blend the eggs with the milk and the vanilla and the cinnamon. We're gonna mix it together and then we're gonna pour it over the top of our bread. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cover this with aluminum foil. We're going to spread it out and we're going to refrigerate for 24 hours. Okay, we're going to go ahead and bake this. Now that it's been sitting for a while, we're going to bake it in an oven at 375 degrees for 40 minutes. Then we're going to take off the foil, bake it for a few minutes longer, and we'll be good to go. Okay, we've just taken it out of the oven and we've let it sit for about five minutes. So are you ready to taste? It looks good, doesn't it? I know, and, and it, it smells incredible. And how much easier could it be than oh something like this? Golly. And I love the idea that you can make things the night before if you like. The simpler you can keep things mm -hmm. in the morning, the better. Ooh. Looks beautiful. You can have a little maple syrup on that? Yeah, I was just going to say that one of the things you can do if you want to top it with just a little bit of maple syrup, you could use some of the mm -hmm. flavored blueberry syrups that they have. Oh my gosh. It would be delicious. Okay, give mm -hmm. it a try. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, that's nice. I love the cinnamon in there with the apple. This is really good, and I don't even have any of the syrup on there. I mm. put just a little bit on there to taste it. It's got a wonderful flavor. It almost has its it's own really syrup filling. right and in. And it's almost like mm -hmm. a little bit of a custard mm -hmm. in there. It's really, really delicious. Wonderful. We know you're going to love it. Mm -hmm. And remember, we've got lots more recipes on our website at gooseberrypatch.com. And let us know if you try the recipe. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.